Now, everybody here obviously has used YouTube. YouTube is a great way to watch videos, to share your own videos. The other great thing about YouTube is it brings people together. It helps form unique online communities like gamers, filmmakers, and musicians. But there are also several of these communities that are a little more niche. And we thought we'd take a look at some of these smaller communities in a segment we call YouTube Subcommunities. First up, you may be familiar with YouTube videos that show bloopers from TV shows and movies, but you may not know that there's also a very small YouTube channel that features bloopers exclusively from funerals. <laughs> Let's watch some funeral bloopers. This is one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. My father... Oh. He was my role model. He was my hero. I don't like speaking in front of people, so I took some beta blockers. But then I, I, I drank a little bit too. Bobby was such a firecracker. As you all know, she would never take no for an answer. And she... No! <laughs> Do one joke about funeral bloopers and they turn the lights off. Up next, there are huge communities of people on YouTube who post reviews of clothing, restaurants, or hotels they're staying in. This next community is a little different. These are demons from hell who go on YouTube and post reviews of the bodies they're currently inhabiting. <laughs> Let's take a look. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Nabirius, back again with another host review. This week, my host body is 12-year-old Samantha Epstein from Saratoga, and I think she's a great host so far. She's very fast, which is good for when I want to crawl around on walls like a spider. She's got great hands. Oh, check out her eyes. Her eyes are really, really blue, which is perfect when I turn them red. Honey, what are you doing in there? Hold on a second. <clears throat> Nothing, Mom. I'm just finishing up my homework. Okay. Be down for dinner in 20 minutes. Sounds good, Mom. <sighs> Well, that's it for now, guys. I gotta do my homework, but I'll be back next week with a new host, 82-year-old Byron Marks of Boulder, Colorado. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Finally, you may have seen news stories featuring people who get thousands of dollars worth of plastic surgery done to look identical to celebrities or Barbie dolls. Well, this next sub-community is a little different and um, a little hard to explain, so uh, just take a look. I was a happy guy, sure. I had friends, a supportive family, and I wasn't exactly unhappy with my body. But my whole life, I wanted to look like someone else. I always wanted to look like a Cabbage Patch Kid. I heard of a rare experimental procedure that gave people like me what I wanted. It cost me $150,000 to get everything I needed. The tender, cushy cheeks, the perfectly round head, that thick, stringy hair like spaghetti on your head, and those beautiful eyes. And in the end, I was a real-life Cabbage Patch Kid. I told my co-workers I was getting a makeover, but they didn't know how far I was going. I wanted their real reactions. Okay, guys, this is a big day for Craig, so let's be super supportive when he gets in here. Big smiles, okay? Great. <laughs> Hi, guys! <laughs> Jesus. So? What do you guys think? Craig, well, why did you... My name is Landon now. Landon Chauncey. I was born in Babyland General Hospital in 2012. And I'm gonna be six years old forever! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> That was YouTube Subcommunities.